Hmm. Well, uh, just obviously got the guys together. I think, did you talk to all the players uh, going here? So, uh, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's time. I mean, obviously, uh, I hate to say we're uh, uh, used to this or what, but um, you never do. Um, uh, but excited for our players, and they've done remarkable. Again, and talking to the guys that have been here a couple of years and being the third year in a row, it says a, a lot. I know Steve has some stats that very few schools have done what we've done, been to the tournament three times, win some games in the NCAA tournament each year. So we need to win some this year. And uh, Utah State, it's uh, um, uh, very familiar with the school uh, and very familiar with the coach. Uh, coach Frank actually has been around, been around a little bit, but. Uh, he was a freshman at Montana State when I was coaching at Northern Arizona, and they won the league. So uh, we go way back. Uh, I know his family, I know uh, him, and uh, um, he can shoot. Um, and so I'm guessing their team can shoot uh, Utah State. I know he brought a lot of his players with him from uh, from Montana State. So I do know a little bit more about him. We hung out actually. I was recruiting in uh, December, I guess, and uh, we actually hung out uh, in a gym watching a game uh, uh, a couple months ago. So I know the, the program, Coach, it's a long history, a uh, huge home court advantage there. Thankfully, we're not playing in Yogi, Logan, Utah, um, and uh, very familiar. I guess we played Friday, um, don't know the time. Uh, we practiced today, earlier, I guess I told you. I uh, liked our energy, liked what we did. Uh, I think we addressed some stuff early as far as you know, how well we defended in, in uh, um, Kansas City. Obviously, uh, we worked on some layups uh, today, and see if we can make some layups. And uh, but I was very proud of how we played. First of all, in the Oklahoma game, and then uh, in that game with yeah, you know, rebound team by 15. That that's good. And in 30 offense rebounds, tells you how hard you play. Yeah, you know, kids are always wanting to, at least trying to miss layups and uh, open shots. So uh, I was proud of our, our performance. Um, and I think we're positioned well. Our defense got better though that week, uh, which is what I really started at when we met. Uh, when we got back here, is our defense is better. Uh, I've been talking about it, talking about it, talking about it, and somehow our offense kind of let us down uh, in, uh, in in Kansas City. Transition offense, by far our worst numbers. Um, so, uh, um, so that's what I got. Uh, excited for our, uh, again, uh, and uh, you know it doesn't. Uh, I know we've done this. Uh, we're, we're we're making this a. Uh, been there a bunch since I've been here, but um, it never gets old, and, and, and you go in with everybody goes in with all kinds of hope, and uh, proud of the Big 12 and what we've done, and, and uh, looking forward to the opportunity to represent TCU in Indianapolis. Uh, looking forward to playing there. I, it's one place I haven't been. I, I think I've been uh, tournament 15 times as a head coach. Uh, I know it's a good site, so a lot of them, not, not half of them I've been to, but uh, uh, Indianapolis. How do you hope the experience this group has, just being now the third tournament? How do you hope they can come? No, I told them it better. I mean, I, I said, hey, you guys have built up and an and opportunity, and every situation is different. Um, but um, we won't be playing the last game of the night, I guess, this time, which I think we've done each time we've been in the last two years. But, uh, uh, yeah, well, let me go watch Utah State. Let me see. I liked how we handled today, to be honest with you. It was a good day. A um, little slow start, but not, not really, um, and uh, I like how we did, we know the offensive stuff, sets, plays, um, you know, uh, he made it in practice, but he was banged up in the, in the last game, obviously, we had a few guys with ankle injuries, so that's good, I'm glad we did it's Friday, um, we got work to do, let me go watch Utah State, let me go try to figure out what we're doing there, but we've got a lot of stuff in, we've seen a lot of different things. I think we're a little more prepared for different, and uh, that may be good, but uh, let me see what I, uh, I know they have a big guy can score, so uh, that'll be uh, a priority. You mentioned that you liked the step forward the defense took last yeah. week. What do you want to see this week to continue building on that? Make layups, I think I started with that one. That was be the first thing, and uh, but uh, you know, you, you want guys that are, uh, um, you know, we just, we just played very hard in the last game. We got rebound. 15, 30 offensive rebounds. I mean, I said it during the, I think that was going to be a record, and I guess it was pretty close to a record. Uh, and you usually don't make records against the number one, positive records against the number one team in the country. Um, but uh, we did. So, 
I feel like we're playing well. I think this, uh, you know, Ernest, you know, it's, I feel like Ernest is back, um, and he was improving. You lose him for five, six games. He was limping around the other, you know, in, in Kansas City. But you know, I'm just, I'm excited about that. Um, guards are uh, healthy. I, yeah, I feel like we're in a, in a good spot right now as far as um, uh, today's practice, tomorrow. My guess is we'll take Tuesday off. Yeah, I would say, yeah, I mean, he may be in practice today, so I didn't get too much into it, but I don't know, panic, Bill, yet, so, uh, but I think, I think so. I mean, Erson's out there, doing. He, he, he wasn't limping around today, so it's not like he's not limping out, around. I mean, I, I, we were talking about Erson, you know, he didn't, get, didn't finish great the other day, and I was like, he hasn't practiced. We played a guy, Ernest, that hadn't practiced in any of the days prior to those games. I, I didn't know what we were getting, so uh, um, I'm uh, encouraged he actually, I think it's the first day of practice in, in about a month and a half. Now, every player is important has come through here, but what do you, like E-Man, Chuck, the guys that have yeah. been these three years, what do you want their legacy to be? Around? Yeah, I mean, um, it's so different. You know, I used to have the speech all ready to go on different things, and, you know, talk about the four-year career here at, 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 at Pitt and Kenridge and Desmond. But um, this is different. Um, you know, it's after COVID, so, you know, it's, um, to go a year or two where you weren't even talking to your players or seeing them and showing up and canceled games and practices uh, canceled. But I since found out a lot of teams were practicing when we weren't when we weren't supposed to be. But uh, and recruiting, I guess so. But uh, um, I guess we took the wrong strategy there. But uh, um, uh, th these guys came. None of them. Mike had been to the tournament. Kobe had. Eman had. Um, you know, Xavier hadn't, you know, so I mean, it was, it was, it was a sell on that. We had just been, you know, to the tournament to part of COVID and, and won the NIT. So, you know, we were selling them on what we were becoming and uh, talking to them about that. And, and they've delivered, they've delivered. And they've delivered on the court and they've delivered off the court. You know, all of their degrees, all of the great representatives of TCU. Um, it, it's more of a group thing. They're all, they're really close too. If we get them all, Jacoby, Xavier, um, Eman, Micah, those four guys kind of, I guess you kind of group them together. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what kind of sticks out uh, to me. They were close off the court, they're close on the court. They've come here and they've done, you know, what's never been done. It's it's uh, it's it's good to be doing things that's never been done and people thought couldn't be done. Uh, but. Um, They've, they've done it, uh, and it's not like we're you know um, done here yet. We got we we can do something more. Eight Big Twelve teams made it into the tournament. You've talked about this conference all year, but what does that say about about this? Yeah, I, didn't, I mean, I guess uh, I saw right into the whole thing, but um, eight. Uh, you know, I mean, it's it sounds like I think we had this. We played the third most quad one games in the country. I mean, like, you know, <clears throat> but I don't. I used to say that in the Big East, and then we went to the ACC, so guys are tired of hearing my story on the uh, uh, conference and, and uh, selling the best conference, but the reality is it's been accurate. I mean, um, you know, we've gotten better. It's helped the conference get better, and uh, we're seeing it because eight teams are in the tournament now. So, hey, we're, we're you know, we're the best basketball conference in the country. It's, it's not even close. You know it's you know it's the case when they take start taking shots at you. That's when that's when you know, and uh, that's how it's, it's going to continue too. So, um, when, and, and if they when they start talking, like I was saying, the schedule is twenty six. I think when I saw it last night, and when they're talking about their strength schedule, that means that, that means you're winning. You're winning good because they start talking about your strength schedule. So all these things have been pretty predictable. I predicted, and uh, you can say I told you so, but it's happening. You know. You're, you play the third most uh, power fives or, or quad ones. Your strength schedule is twenty six, and then you're you're gonna write about the schedule. I'm like, okay, whatever. That's you know, it's, you gotta write something negative, and we don't have anybody getting arrested. We don't have anybody getting in trouble. So um, you gotta find something. So they go to the strength of the schedule, which is twenty six out of 360, 362. Um, so uh, we're good. We're good, and we got an opportunity here. 
great kids, graduating, doing the right things, representing TCU. Um, they'll be at class tomorrow. They'll be talking with people on campus. They'll be communicating with the students. You know, they won't be in online courses, and they'll they'll be in they'll be a part of the campus tomorrow, and we'll prepare and get ready for our Friday. What does it mean to you to be a part of this program at a time where they have uh, set a record for most uh, consecutive tournament appearances? It's like you plan to do. And people told me I was crazy, but I thought if I as, as I've said before, if, if I can't do it, who's going to do it? You know, so um, I uh, had the passion for the university, and I had the uh, experience uh, at different pla at different places in the country. I was prepared uh, for a, uh, a challenge, and I like challenges. And so, uh, but I feel like we have way more to do, and, uh, and I know it won't be easy. But I like being the underdog. I like challenges. Always have been, and uh, uh, and then I have the extra advantage of you know having a, a, a passion and a connection to the school, so I'm lucky in that regard. You made the switch to put Chef in the starting lineup, and so yeah. you have success kind of early again, especially with you as their kid first game. Yeah, I think so. I mean, we believe it or not. I mean, I, we talked about we wanted we we're finding ways to get better defense, and he had defended well in the last previous two games. You know, we chart everything, we we show the players, and. We put him in there because of defense, and I have a couple friends in the coaching and, and uh, a guy I talked to, and I said, like, you know, they laugh because, you know, Chuck's not known for his defense. But I was like, hey, he performed. We told him we were going to play the best defenders, and he earned it. So uh, I'm proud of him, you know. And uh, he, he defended well in the, in the two games in Oklahoma, too. I mean, in Kansas, uh, in Kansas City. Um, so, we, you know, it's not going to change the minutes much. You know, as I've told you guys about that, this the starter, and it's always kind of that story, but I don't think it changes them much. I mean, Avery's not starting, but he's playing. He's going to play his 20 minutes, 25, you know, uh, depending on some foul trouble and some things. But their minutes aren't going to change too much. Um, but we think this makes us better, and we have to reward the, the defense. Because I've, I mean, it's been a battle. I don't know the battle. It's supposed to be. You bring in new guys, bring in new guards. It's not easy. You have to get better. And it's been a challenge. And I've tried every approach necessary to get us better defensively. I, I told my guys today, I've, I've, you know, we were, you know, summer was loose. It was, you know, get better. They'll take care of it. They'll get better defensively. And then we go on over in Europe. I couldn't believe how bad we were defensively. I mean, then we had guys. They weren't division one players when they were scoring on us. And, and so I was like, oh, we got some work to do. And it's been a challenge. It's been a challenge. And it's been coaching, yelling, screaming. I mean, I've joked that I've started uh, cussing more this, uh, this year for the express purpose of trying to show how serious I am uh, and not doing it like I normally would like to. But, like, I was trying everything to get this team better defensively. And we're getting there. We were our best the last two uh, the last two two games, and so um, I've tried everything and uh, challenge, scream, yell. Not I've tried everything, and it's it's we're be we're good we're good now defensively. I really believe that. And we've adjusted too. We changed some things. We did some things to maybe you don't know your strengths, you don't know our, your weaknesses. Um, I thought our guards would be more ready to defend. Um, they were gamblers. Rather than um, team solid defenders, you know, and that was a, just a hard, a hard adjustment for them. And so, um, but I think they're getting there. Coach, you've been to this tournament so many years. Yeah. What do you like the most about going to the tournament? Uh, he, you know, it's a, a, the great thing about the tournament is it's a great thing for your university. You know, it's, it's everybody in the country right now is talking about, you know, 65 schools. And I mean, the numbers are unbelievable. I mean, people do a bracket. I mean, like, people are going to, more people are going to know about TCU now because of this. I mean, how many, what, what give me the number. How many brackets are 100,000 brackets, 100 million brackets or something? It's like ridiculous the amount of people that do brackets. So somebody is going to pick TCU to win. And, uh, 
So that's, I love that. It's great for a university. It's, it's new and everybody goes in believing. Everybody goes in believing. So we're believing. And um, so it's good enough. I think it's too good to be new. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're excited. And, um, and you never get tired of it. I mean, to, uh, Steve told me that uh, 15, I've been there 15 times a head coach, a bunch of assistants. I think you said it. How many, how many guys have been 15 times in Tillman? No, what was it? One of the... He, he put you know, here. So, yeah, I, it's, I, it doesn't get old. So, I've been about as many as... Uh, one of nine. Nine guys. Yeah. Do you uh, keep the same routine year after year? Uh, yeah, kind of. You know, but one thing about the routine is the NSA. you, you got to follow their routine. I mean, it's you'd be amazed how structured it is. Like, you, you practice this time, you go for this, the media. I mean, it's... Everything's planned out for you. You, you. you have to change your routine to adjust to the, their routine. Um, TV, you guys, I mean, it's a, you know, the game almost becomes a, um, secondary as if you, if you get the uh, uh, itinerary and, and the plans. I mean, you know, Steve told me everything I got to do. He kind of runs, runs my life for the next uh, four days. Steve, you know, yeah. I mean, I fix the place of my wife. <laughs> Thank you all for being here.